For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to Atwell's Camping and Leisure with me Mike. Today I'm giving you guys a review on a driveway owner from Vango. So this here is the Vango Idris. So the Idris has been around for a number of years now. Uh, it's been one of Vango's most popular uh, driveway awnings, purely down to size for the price point you pay for what you get. It's very, very good. Uh, they use a really nice sort of beautiful colored blue fabric and it's 70 denier, so it's sort of a standard driveway sort of fabric, um, but it's obviously very, very waterproof as well. The joys of it actually is what they do is they sort of strip back on sort of the sort of the high end features and give you the main core stuff you actually need. So you've got things like a uh, clip in, clip out ground sheet. So certainly if you're on a campsite and it's, there can be a bit funny about whether you know, the, you're know killing the grass underneath, that's a really good thing. You can just quite happily pop out and not have to need to use. And yet again, when you've got sort of, a lot of people I know have dogs and things like that and they want to just literally have a dog in there and if they suddenly do their business overnight, it's not going to be the end of the world. It's just quite happily soak into the grass. Uh, but for me, I think my favourite colour, I love blue anyway, but I think this, certainly when the sun's out, it just pops out at you and it looks really, really good. Due to the fact that you've actually got a nice big PVC window at the front here as well, as well as the ventilation panel over here, you allow yourself to get good circulation inside the awning as well as plenty of light as well. And it's very simple to put up. You can check out our pitching and packing video on this very item where we attach it to a, uh, a motorhome, but also they do different sizes as well. So this comes in a low size, which is more designed for like a Volkswagen T5s or Bongo sort of thing, or they do a tall, more meant for the motorhome market. So. It depends on what necessarily um, size vehicle you're looking to attach it to. It's got the capability of doing it as well. So I think the low will go anywhere from about 180 up to about 205, 210. And then the uh, tall starts around about sort of 230 up to about 28, 295. Um, so the joys of that means is you've, you're pretty much covered regardless of what vehicle you've actually purchased. Main things to talk about actually, I'll say is very simple to put up. You just attach it on, peg at the back and then start to inflate it as you want. Um, and it's one that we normally again have on our uh, indoor display showroom here at Atwell, so you can always come in. We can measure your vehicle for you to make sure you are looking at the right item and making sure you're buying the right size. That's not a problem at all. It's a very sort of simple system, but it works really efficiently. So you've got two beams uh, which you pump it up through. So, you know, the whole thing to put up it takes about eight or nine minutes. And you can see that from our own pitching videos. And you've got one bracer beam just at the top just to keep it a bit more rigid. Um, certainly one model I think that works well. And you've got things like the guy rope system here, which obviously helps to allow peg it out. And you've actually got Vanga's sort of line up system. So it's very easy to adjust the guy ropes by just sort of pulling it. And that's sort of a nice little painted thing to Vanga itself. You get supplied with some really good sort of strong rock pegs. So even if you're on hard standing, you don't have to worry about it. You know, you've, you've still got something that's beefy enough to hold it itself. One thing to, as you can see from the outside, you've actually got a entrance that allows you to enter the vehicle without having to go through the main part of the awning. So that's quite a nice little feature again. And if you want to, that just zips down and keeps it enclosed. So there's one either side, so it doesn't matter which sort of enter you want to go through when you go around the side, the front or the back, it's pretty much covered on it. And it comes with some storm straps which you can throw over the top as well, just to attach it over to the top of the vehicle. But have a look at our how to connect a driveway video if you're looking about the methods you can use to attach this on. It's got a pre part cadres built into it as well as a sleeve to use a pole and clamp kit. And what you've also got, as I said, is the formidable straps. When you're on different heights, you've got a, a point here, which is basically like a webbing strap, which allows you to adjust the height as you need it to. So you can actually, if you're on the lower side of the requirements, you can just take it up like so. And it just actually helps to tension it and still allows you to use this sort of door even when you are on a lower bracket. But we'll talk a bit more about the ins and outs of the features as we head inside. So let's see what it has to offer. So now we're starting on, you kind of get a bit more grasp for how it is on the inside. The first thing I'll point out is when you're looking to drive away, uh, basically it detaches on off the awning itself and then it just basically rolls back and you've got little toggle points just located here just to keep it all at bay and basically just runs along the top of the ridge line like so and then what you do is you, there's a guy rope point here you bring that forward and it will free stand quite happily so as long as you've got support from all areas you're good to go the dividing door then again sends, just sort of zips up all the way so then it just means that there's a back to the actual awning itself but when you're actually physically inside and using it that just zips along the bottom and the top and just bow close off like so and then you can quite actually just sort of wind it back got a toggle point just there and it just keeps it up and actually what happens it actually nicely opens the awning up itself so when you're inside of it obviously you can see you've got plenty of height throughout the awning me being sort of six or two even in the corners i'm pretty good for height and it just allows it all to be just so Nice big PVC windows straight in here, offers you light as well as the one at the front. And yet again, you've got curtains actually included as well, and they just quite simply toggle on. 
So you've got a little retainer down here, and then all you do is unwind it. You can either toggle it halfway, or you can toggle it up to the top. So it's a little, just sort of, kind of like a PVC webbing strap in the corner here, which just allows you to do so. So it allows you to have the privacy inside of here, and certainly if you want like a, to put an inner bedroom in, which is an optional extra to sleep some people inside of here, it just helps to make it a bit darker. You've got this new additional panel positioned here, which is basically designed to allow light inside of it when you want your privacy as well. And like I said, when you put the put that back down, and what it does is the curtain quite some just rolls down, and then you can sort of toggle it away. We'll just do a bit of a rush job for now. So you've got one nice big window, obviously one where the door is when you have it all sit down, and then a third one in the corner there. Offers plenty of light, and you've got one off the opposite there as well. And the other thing to bear in mind is the opposite side to this, which you can't quite see here, there is a door. So you can actually enter the awning itself without opening the big main door. One thing you can do with the big main door, it's got a little eyelets in the corner, so you want to unzip that and put it sort of flat outwards. You can buy some extra king poles, put them on the king poles, and you've kind of got a little egg, sort of elongated uh, canopy on the actual front of it. You, each beam, as you can see from here, is basically pumped up individually. So you've got one there, one there, and there's an extra, addition, extra little roof beam which sits up here. And it just helps to keep the tension in the roof itself. Uh, and it's just a few pumps on that, it's quite simple. The pump is actually supplied with it, so you get a dual action hand pump which comes with the actual awning itself. And that really does help, just it's very quick and simple to pump it up and it's not a huge amount of air inside each beam, but once it's actually pumped the pressure, it is very robust and very strong. What we're displaying here is actually Van Gogh's sort of TBS system. So it's a tension band system that they've used in a high-end backpack and tents to basically filter it down into their sort of driveway awnings. And the purpose of being that it twins up with the gyrops to give yourself a triangle formation. So when you obviously get windier weather, certainly if you're on sort of, you know, cliff edges and things like that, um, it basically helps to brace the awning itself. So for example, if the wind's coming in from this side, I push it in there, that keeps the tension and keeps the shape of the actual awning. And it really does work. When you see it happen, it, it makes a big, quite a big difference, to be fair. A lot of these things are the same sort of thing as last year. One of the big, massive changes for the 2018 collection is the introduction of Sky Sidetrack system. So this Sky Rail here um, allows you to hang a lantern wherever you please inside the actual awning itself. So you get these little sky hooks supplied with it. So you get a few of these um, when you have the ability to add some extra if you need be. And that just quite simply feeds onto that little rail like so. So it's got a little locking clamp as well on the actual rail itself. So that quite simply feeds on. There you go. And it gives you a hanging point where you can just quite simply hang it when you want to and it's good to go. One thing, it can be a little bit fiddly to put on and off, but like I said, because the clamp system, it holds it in place. So in theory, if you wanted to, you could actually hang something here. So if you wanted to be, I always like to think, you know, you put a clip there, a clip there on its opposite side, there's one less beam as well put a bit of rope between it and you can quite happily use that as like a pole, you know, a bit of string, use it to dry the towels. You have it in sort of series of places and it really makes use of this area. Things to consider, like I said, are things like footprints and carpets. Carpet obviously goes inside and it's actually quite nicely squared off to sort of fit the, the tent quite nicely. Um, but footprint, I think, is again, probably more essential. Not so much with this because you've got the sort of the ground sheet here. So this actually, uh, so like I say, clips in and clips out. The thing is, what you can do with this, because it clips in, clips out, is simply remove it, like so, and then you've got the grassy area in there. But the way, it, it kind of feels like a bathtub ground sheet because obviously where it's stitched into the awning, it overlaps, so you've got kind of an overlap. So it feels like a Sony ground sheet without having the wind and whatnot coming underneath. But you have got the versatility of actually putting it down if you want to. And it's quite a way of, quite a nice way of doing it as well. But really nice model, like I said, with the mesh door on the side, which is a really nice way to sort of get in and out the actual awning itself, and the versatility of having this sort of half open and closed, you can make it your own. And by adding an extra bedroom, sleep two people in here, or if you want to add in a third, you know, an extra bedroom, so you've got two, it would take up the whole awning, but you could, in theory, sleep four out here. Um, but good model, plenty of talking points, and you get, if need be, check out our video on how it goes up and down. But in essence, the Idris, which is available on finance from us, a good model in the standard, sort of in the low, or of course at all.